Hi guys, welcome to Commercial Law Tutorials, Law of Property. We have already looked at the definition and the requirements. Classification of things. And we are moving on to lesson number three, possession. We will look at possession in general. In this lesson, we will look at the definition. Elements. Ways of acquiring possession, classes, and also loss of possession. The definition. Possession is the physical control by a person of a corporal thing with the intention of keeping the control of it for his own benefit. So a person assumes physical control of a thing coupled with the intention to possess that thing, that is possession. Note that here we are just looking at general control or occupants of property without looking at ownership. Ownership involves the absolute right in law to use and keep the property as your own. Possession is just the physical control of property, but ownership itself gives the owner the right to possession. Let us look at the elements of possession. There are two main elements, the physical and the mental elements of possession. There is the intent to keep and exclude others from interfering with the thing possessed, which is shown by how a person physically controls the thing. For instance, pen in my pocket, ring on my finger, or goods in my home. In this case, there is the physical custody of the thing. I have the pen, I have the ring, I have the goods in my home. With the intention of keeping the things whilst excluding others from interfering and using those things. So, both the intention and the physical control are important elements seen when there is possession of a thing. When I possess a pen, a ring, or goods in my home, I have the intention of keeping those things and excluding others from keeping them or using them. Let us look at intention as the first element. It is the mental state, activity or claim of exclusive use of a thing that is possessed. That is the will and the goal of possessing the thing for the time being. The other element is the physical control. It involves the detention, custody, or occupation of a thing. So one has the physical power and control over the thing he possesses. For instance, for movables, detention can be having thing in one's hand or pocket. For immovables, staying in the house. That is physical control. Ways of acquiring possession, that is next. Possession of both movable and immovable property is acquired using occupation or transfer. For occupation, it is done by unilateral action on the part of the occupier. For instance, there is no list, like wild bees that are caught and kept, or a thief who steals a thing from the owner. That is occupation. Here we are talking about possession, whether illegal or legal. It is just possession in general. Then we also have the other way, which is transfer. Transfer involves the former possessor transferring the thing to the possessor, that is the new possessor, with the intention that the latter should become the possessor thereof. This is seen in list gifts, exchanges, will, and sell. Next, we have the classes of possession. There is civil possession. This is when a person has the detention of a thing with the intention of holding it for himself as an owner. So, 
It's possession of a thing with the intention of becoming the owner of that thing. That is the possession. Natural possession is the other class. This is when a person physically occupies a property without having the title of ownership to it. He keeps the thing without any conviction that he is the owner, but with the intention of securing some benefit in the thing itself, for instance, LEC. Then the third class is bona fide and malafide possession. Loss of possession. How is possession lost? By operation of law. Transfer of control. When there is transfer of control, possession is lost. For instance, when a tenant hands back the keys to a leased premise, he hands over control and possession back to the landlord. Possession is also lost when object is destroyed or lost. For instance, when a cow dies, possession is lost. And lastly, when one no longer has the intention to carry on possessing and controlling a thing, possession is lost when one no longer wants to possess that thing, no longer wants to control that thing. For instance, abandonment of a thing. Thank you so much for watching. That was all I had for you today. Remember to subscribe and to like after subscribing. Also, remember to click on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I post a video.